Hi, this is Steve True from ExcelDashboardTemplates.com where you can learn how to use Excel to create some dynamic Excel dashboards. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to stop Excel from selecting a range of cells. Have you ever uh, been working in Excel and then all of a sudden uh, it keeps selecting a range when you use the arrow keys or it keeps selecting a range when you click around? So it's like it's locked in this one cell and it keeps selecting no matter where I click or no matter how I move the mouse, it's selecting a range. Uh, it used to be very frustrating to me because the only way I knew how to get rid of it was to actually close down Microsoft Excel um, or the worksheet, save it, reopen it, uh, then my Excel sheet would work right. So how do you go about doing this? Well, it's actually quite simple. Um, perhaps you've hit a wrong key. Uh, if you have hit the F8 key, uh, it will lock in so let's go ahead and do an F8. It will lock in your cell and it will start dynamically extending your selection. Uh, and you can tell that this is what's happening because right down here at the bottom in the status bar area it says current selection will be extended to include newly selected cells with F8. So it says extend selection. This is in Excel 2007. Uh, and so you can see as I click around, as I move my mouse keys around, it just keeps extending the selection for my locked in cell on cell A8. So to stop it, simply hit F8 again. And when I click around, look at that, I do not need to uh, keep dynamically extending that selection. So what is it used for? Normally it's used, you can use it to uh, create your selection. So let's go ahead and do an equals sum, start my left parentheses. I could click on a starting cell, I could hit function, or I'm sorry, F8, and uh, I can dynamically select the range that I want, close my parentheses, hit enter, and it's gone. It's created my sum formula, uh, and it sometimes could be used if you've got a really large selection of data that you want to have, so you want to jump down to row 3000 uh, and column AC, uh, you could quickly jump around and select it that way. Uh, by locking in the cell that you want to start at and going down there without having to hold the mouse and scroll down, click over. There's other ways to do that kind of selection as well uh, in your sum formula um, or whatever range you're looking to use that information for, but uh, I just know that that has frustrated some people. So what you want to do, once again, if you hit F8 inadvertently, you will see it come up down in the status bar area here at Extend Selection and your selection will be locked in. If you do not want that to happen, hit F8 again and it will get rid of it and you'll see it's gone from the bottom. So this is Steve with Excel Dashboard Templates.com. Uh, please visit me um, and uh, take a look at my site, sign up for my blog and my email feed so that you can get these latest tips and tricks uh, that will help you save frustration when working with your Excel dashboards. Once again, Steve True, Excel Dashboard Templates.com. Have a great day.